Hello, everyone. Welcome. It's Jen Rogers again with Star Season Star Breeds. This is part two of the Red Resonant Serpent uh, Galactic Activation Portal Day. Let's look at the calendar again. Today is January 13, 2024, and it's the Red Resonant Serpent. A channel in order to survive inspiring instinct. I seal the store of life force with the resonant tone of attunement. I am guided by the power of navigation on the galactic activation portal. Enter me. And the key words. Uh, the resonant tone is inspiring attunement and channel. Uh, the red serpent is survive instinct life force. It's also the keywords are passionate, resourceful, headstrong, intimate, passionate, creative, sensual, instinctual, and extremist, uh, charismatic. I like how yesterday we got the staff, which was like the stalk of the seed. And um, it was a rhythmic day, so we really, um, it was like, I think the staff is for tuning in. So turning tuning into a certain rhythm. Let's see what comes out today. The 13 moon oracle habits. Again, I got these at 13moon.com as well as the calendar that you can purchase. Yeah. And I'll be going over the calendar this week on Star Season Star Breeds on YouTube. I'll be sharing how I found the Dream Spell calendar and the Zop and the Mayan calendar and how they're different. And yeah, we'll kind of be learning together. We got synchronicity. Ooh. And it's magenta, almost red. The frequency of magenta is number 1320 and the keywords are expansiveness connections destiny new choices limitless non-fixity i'm not sure if that's really a word non-fixity <laughs> connections expansions destiny let's read it in the book i'm going to pause it so i can look it up okie dokes i found it Oracle for the Frequency of Magenta, Synchronicity. Receiving this magenta, oops, put back a little bit. Receiving this magenta frequency counsels you to pay attention to the synchronicities in your daily life experiences that are leading your destiny unfolding. Begin to pay attention to the underlying connections between apparently unrelated events revealing themselves as a higher symbolic coding of your destiny. Unrolling like a magic carpet. Be watchful for powerful tingling deja vu feelings that are indicators of companions of destiny showing up. Utilize this expansive frequency in your attire or environment to evoke all its gifts, especially connection and limitlessness. Magenta is made from the merger of the two extremes of the light spectrum, red and purple, symbolic of the connection of what may appear to be different. This card points to the timelessness of creatively connecting unusual combinations of people's ideas, people, ideas, events, or whatever wants to be woven into a more expansive vision of what is possible in your life. Receiving this magenta frequency is a call to identify what is apparently limiting your choices at this time. How and with what belief systems are holding you, holding your reality hostage and limitation. This energy asks, you, like the element air, to release limits. By becoming more fluid in the way you hold your reality, you are a dreamer. You are being in invited to weave a new dream tapestry of your life with the pow powerful threads of new choices. Visualize yourself in this magenta frequency and ask how to make choices in the light of who you authentically are in your expanded essence. In regard to your query, remember the fluidity of Alice in Wonderland. Though it certainly appears otherwise, nothing is fixed. We actually live in a quantum reality where everything adjusts to the micro-movements of everything else. 
Have you become fixed and thus unable to see the myriad options that present themselves? When you relax and open, new possibilities flow into your awareness, grinning with satisfaction like the Cheshire cat. What is revealed about what you are presently genuinely feeling by looking through the lens of the frequency of magenta? Okay, so how does this relate to today's portal? Um, where it says, be watchful for powerful tingling deja vu feelings. That could be something like uh, creative, sensual, instinctual um, feelings coming up, maybe. Indicators of companions of destiny. Being resourceful, maybe. Also, um, with the inspiring and attunement. For me, Alice in Wonderland is inspiring and and a frequency all in itself. And the Cheshire Cat is about uh, channeling messages from different places we go and our dreams and things that we see in everyday life. This energy asks you like the element air to release limits by becoming more fluid in the way you hold your reality. Yeah, so it's asking you to be a little more creative in, in your thinking, like Alice in Wonderland. So I think that's a really good card for today. I hope you like this reading. Please like, share, and comment, and tell me how you feel about it, and what your dreams would be like tonight. Always pray before you take anything into your portal with you. And I'll be back again for another portal portal day. I think we'll be in a couple days. Thanks for watching. Three, two, one.